You guys know that I'm a big proponent of using one battery type system. Obviously, I'm a DeWalt fanboy, but if you're into Milwaukee or into Makita, I think it's a big deal to keep everything to the same battery type so you can be interchangeable. And I also believe in being prepared in case of power outages, having backup power on hand, just in case, because you never know. And this week, we got a really cool item. It is a slide-on USB connector for your DeWalt batteries. So it's a way to tap in to existing power storage that you already have that you never thought about using in an emergency with a pretty small stocking stuffer style idea that's built like a tank, it's rugged, and it does exactly what it's designed for. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit about this guy, hang in there and we'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Tim the Toolman Cook back here from All Seasons Maintenance in East Central Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to our channel where we define what it means to be a successful entrepreneur as a modern handyman where we share tips and tricks, successes and failures on the important part, the road to financial freedom. So it's Wednesday and we know what that means. It's time for another Tool Time Gear Review. Hey guys, uh, today I come back to you with a small little item from DeWalt that could be seen as indispensable to you. It's the USB adapter that slides onto any slide style 12 and 20 volt DeWalt battery. As I'm making this video, the price is around $49.99 US on Amazon, but it typically runs around $39.99. Comes on sale quite often, down to $19, bucks, so don't pay full price if you don't have to. DC B090 is the model number. You'll see it here on the packaging as well. So if you're looking to get one, just Google it and you'll find them. Uh, super simple. For some reason, the price in Canada trends around the same. It's usually around 40 bucks Canadian, occasionally comes on sale for 20. So again, don't pay full price for this guy. It's built well, but if you don't have to pay full price, why would you? It has well over 2,000 reviews on Amazon with a four and a half star review. My first impressions when I pulled this out of the package, when I opened it the other day to start using it, I was actually quite surprised. I expected it to be just flimsy plastic with absolutely no heft to it. And I mean, it, it obviously doesn't weigh a pound or anything, but it, it feels absolutely solid in your hand. Everything about it is well made. feels just like a DeWalt. feels like you could drop it from, you know, 10 feet up just like a DeWalt battery and it would literally last and not break. So let's show you how she sets up right here. Just snaps on and then gives you three lights to let you know how much juice is in the battery. And that should stay on for a minute or two. One of the quirks about this is, you know, one of the selling features is it has a three light system on top to show you how much juice is in the battery, which is great. Except once it's on there, there's no way to tell you how much juice is left in the battery. You can't push the button. The only way to do it is to take it off and then slide it back on again. Just like that. Make sure you have a good connection. Not a big deal. I tend to use, of course, batteries down here that have the three button push, but if you're using the, the uh, one and a half amp hour or 1.3 amp hour batteries, that might be a little bit of an issue. But as far as how well it's built, no problem at all. It snaps on super secure. It fits perfectly. I love the look of it. I know that might just be something me being foolish, but you know what dads are like. We like to look at our tools. <laughs> okay, on the end, you get two USB high speed ports for charging. They work exactly as advertised. You can plug two in, doesn't seem to cut down on the speed whatsoever. What did I think about this? I'd, I'd have to say it's a perfect complement to your backup power supplies. It allows you to tap into an, an already existing supply of power that most handymen keep charged all the time. So for the record, a three amp hour DeWalt battery has inside it, if you break it down, 10 Samsung 18650 batteries, which if you're not quite sure what an 18650 is, it's kind of a souped up, little bigger AA battery. Each one has 1500 milliamps of capacity, which in a 3 amp hour battery, getting technical here, would give you 15,000 milliamps. An iPhone 7 could be charged 8 times off a 3 amp hour DeWalt battery. So that gives you some idea of the capacity that you've got in one of these little batteries. So, you know, multiply that by two thirds to get what you'd get out of a two amp hour battery. And 
if you want to jump up to the phone I'm recording on, the iPhone XR Plus, it has a battery capacity of around 3,000 milliamps, so you could get five charges off a 3 amp hour battery. So seriously, there is a ton of juice just sitting in your DeWalt batteries that you could use in a power outage. Just something simple, sometimes thinking outside the box. So why did I decide to do this review? Well, <laughs> glad you asked. Recently we had a planned power outage where the power company gave us an entire week's notice so that we could prepare. I told my girls, girls, when you go to bed, make sure that you charge your phones so that you have them. I mean, it's only supposed to be out for three or four hours, but you just absolutely know. So we get up in the morning and what do we have? I have one girl whose phone is stone dead and the other one whose phone is below 30%. So I thought, hey, what a perfect time to do a comparison. Test it out and see. So I also just picked up an Anchor 20, or an Anchor, Anchor, however you want to call it, 20,000 milliamp uh, charger pack. And I thought I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison because that is the bulletproof standard beautiful product that works really well. So I hooked them up, ran them side by side to check it out. You'll see some of the background footage as I went. And yeah, about an hour and a half full charge off this, an hour and a half a full charge off the anchor. So they were flying. It seemed to me that the first 50% of charge, well, from about 40 up to about 95 went really quick and the last 5% went a little bit slower. That tends to be just what you end up with. Um, phones just seem to do that. They charge really quick, and then the last few percentage, I don't know if they slow down to save the battery life or what. But So I plugged in both phones into this as well for a little bit just to see if it would slow down the charging rate, and it didn't seem to affect it at all. There's a 1.5 amp uh, maximum drain that can pull out of those ports at any given time, but it didn't seem to exceed that at all. My absolute biggest complaint on this guy is really my only complaint, and that's those three lights. You can't click them. You'd think pushing that, but there's no button there. That's just to tell you that that's the battery juice indicator. So for what it's worth, my only complaint, you can't actually use it as a battery level tester unless you want to pull it off and snap it back on. Not a huge deal. I love how compact that is. I mean, for what it's worth, it's obviously nowhere near as small or as light as my Anchor uh, battery pack charger so you know this isn't going to be my go-to but in a pinch in an emergency I would absolutely use this on a regular basis you know if I'm traveling going places I'm going to take that slim one but if I'm around here or say in a pinch even if I lost my uh, anchor charger or it broke or dumped water on it whatever I'd throw that into a suitcase and take it with me no problem and you could charge in the truck the kids could run their iPad and their phone off it constantly. So you guys know I'm always a huge fan of adopting a single line of batteries for all your tools so that you have complete cross-platform compatibility. Say that one five times fast. And this is just another way to get multiple uses out of items without needing to purchase yet another item. Two is one, one is none, and all that jazz. You guys know that. And it pays to be prepared. And this is just a small little item that can allow you to tap into existing power storage that you already have. So for what it's worth, guys, this has got the Tim the Toolman Cook seal of approval all over it. So if you're looking for a little item to just make your life just incrementally better or to allow you to be just a little more prepared for a power outage, this little DeWalt guy is where it's at. And Milwaukee, and I'm sure Makita have them as well. So if you're out there looking for something and you're a DeWalt guy, snap this guy up. You won't be disappointed. So as always, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.